When you ask most people what they know about BMX, they usually say those guys on the X Games who do flips on bicycles, well thousands of kilometers away from the camera lights and the big paychecks of Southern California, there's a very vibrant BMX scene right here in our backyard, full of riders who do it not for the money, but for the love of the sport. This is their story. It's a lot of work just to keep this place open and Brandon really works hard just to finance the place. I mean, he doesn't make any money off of it. It's, uh, <laughs> it's kind of like a charity thing for everyone and it, it really does keep a lot of people happy. During the long Canadian winters, indoor bike and skate parks like the industry in St. Thomas, Ontario make it possible for local BMXers to keep riding and working on their craft. During the day, Fanshawe College student Will Fisher works towards a diploma in GIS and urban planning. On the weekends, he's a part of the crazy crew. Through word of mouth, they just needed someone for a show one time and just called me. So it was one of those opportunities that, you know, you just you go for when it, when it comes up and hope for the best. And it, it turned out pretty well. So I got a call back and I've been doing it since. Will's reputation as an up and coming shredder has landed him a ride with one of Canada's only BMX bike manufacturers. A guy in my town actually, he rides for 1664, which is the company that I ride for. Um, so he hooked me up with Bernie, who's the owner, and uh, we talked on the phone a bit. He saw some videos on the internet and decided to hook me up with some, some parts and a bike. And I uh, just, you know, rep the company and start putting out web videos and uh, like photos and stuff like that. But success in BMX comes with much sacrifice. And there's usually someone around with a camera ready to record it. Growing up minutes away from the skate park in St. Thomas has had a huge impact on Ryan Greggs. I got started about eight years ago uh, when this place first opened. It was called X Up. Uh, all my friends did it. It was like grade six back in the day. And uh, I don't know, it was just a cool thing to do with your friends, and that's how it started out. Ben Fleshower traded in his goalie pads for a bike and never looked back. I did a lot of hockey when I was growing up. I was a goalie for a long time, and I played both winter and summer on the ice. I started giving that up towards the beginning of high school because I started biking. It gave, gave me the independence that I wanted. For Fanshawe TV News, I'm Brad Nemeth.